Trucks and freight trains deliver sheets of high-grade steel, aluminum, and alloys to the plant's receiving dock. Each batch is inspected by automated scanners for imperfections crubbyet, micro cracks, density, and surface quality. Forklifts stack these raw materials near CNC machining centers, where robotic arms begin the first transformation. The metal is laser cut into frames, swing arms, engine blocks, and brackets. Sparks fly under the robotic plasma cutters. Tracing the outlines of Harley's signature V-Twin legacy. Each piece is labeled by barcode and digitally logged into Harley's internal system for real-time tracking. Point. Ensuring full traceability from the moment the metal enters the factory. In the frame shop, massive robotic welders take over. Steel tubes are bent, aligned, and clamped into jigs with micron-level precision. The welding sequence is automated, but constantly supervised by skilled engineers. The robotic arms move with fluid grace, applying perfect bead welds. No excess, no voids. Once welded, every frame is measured by a 3D laser scanner to confirm dimensional accuracy within 0.1 millimeters. Only those that pass this stage move on. The rest are recycled immediately. Afterward, the raw frames go through a phosphate cleaning bath, removing oil and oxidation. Then, a powder coating process giving that durable, matte black underlayer Harley frames are known for. Engine assembly. In a separate, temperature-controlled area, the heart of every Harley comes to life, the engine. Blocks of precision cast aluminum move down the assembly line. Robotic arms install cylinder liners, crankshafts. Each engine is hand-verified by technicians before being sealed with Harley's iconic Milwaukee 8 V-Twin stamp. Once assembled, engines undergo a cold test, a computerized rotation test without fuel, to check for internal resistance, compression, and bearing noise. Then, select units go through a hot test, fired up with controlled ignition to ensure proper combustion, fuel mapping, and exhaust tuning. When an engine passes, it receives a laser-engraved serial number, its birth certificate. Transmission at drivetrain installation. Next, the engines meet their counterparts. We low the six-speed transmission systems. Each transmission housing is machined from a single aluminum block, ensuring perfect gear alignment. Once mated with the engine, both are mounted to a powertrain cradle and sent via conveyor to the main assembly line. Here, clutch systems, belt drives, and chain tensioners are calibrated to exact torque specifications using computer-controlled torque wrenches. Every bolt, every nut, tightened with mathematical precision. The painted frame returns to meet its mechanical heart. Using hydraulic lifts, technicians lower the frame onto the powertrain assembly. Robotic fixtures lock everything into place.
suspension forks, swing arms, shock absorbers, and brake lines are attached in a fluid choreography of man and machine. At this stage, the motorcycle begins to look alive, a bare skeleton gaining its form. <laughs> Tick tock. In South Asian places, Hundreds of wires are careful routed through the frame. These connect ECUs, fuel injection systems, ABS modules, sensors, headlights, turn signals, and digital display clusters. Each harness is clipped neatly, color coded, and tested using diagnostic computers that simulate riding conditions. Throttle response, lighting, lighting, and electrical load balancing. A single loose connection is enough to stop the line. Quality is absolute. On a separate line, artisans prepare fuel tanks, fenders, and side covers. These are hand-fitted to check clearances and alignment before painting. Once approved, robotic sprayers enter a sealed paint booth, layering electrostatic paint coats with perfect uniformity. Then comes the clear coat, which is UV cured under controlled heat lamps. followed by a hand polish using lamb's wool pads. Custom tanks, like they for the Harley CVO, receive hand-painted pinstripes. Painting each brush stroke done by a master artist. After painting, the body parts are mounted onto the frame. The motorcycle now stands tall, gleaming under factory lights and trailer, nearly complete. Wheels, machined aluminum rims fitted with Dunlop tires, are mounted using pneumatic lifts. The chrome exhaust system, polished to mirror finish, is installed next. Followed by handlebars, mirrors, and final cosmetic trims. Technicians then inspect alignment, fluid levels, and mechanical tension. Any deviation from spec is corrected immediately. Every Harley must feel right, legal hair, balanced, solid, and soulful. Quality testing a rolling dyno. Each completed motorcycle rolls into the dyno testing bay where it is strapped onto a dynamometer. Engines roar to life. Each bike is run through gears, throttle ranges, and braking cycles. Computers monitor horsepower, torque, vibration, and emissions. Then comes noise and vibration testing, where sensitive microphones detect the Harley sound signature, that deep... Finally, the bike undergoes a rain simulation booth.
Only after passing every test does it receive its Harley-Davidson certification badge. A digital tag is attached, linking it to its VIN, origin, and destination. Crates are loaded into shipping containers via automated forklifts and sealed under customs inspection. From here, they are moved by rail, truck, or cargo ship, depending on destination. Flights bound for North America. Units for Europe are shipped via the port of Baltimore to Rotterdam and Hamburg. Middle East and Africa markets are served through Dubai's Jebel Ali port. Models for Asia Pacific leave through Los Angeles and Seattle, bound for Japan, Australia, and Indonesia. Every crate's journey is tracked in real time using GPS and RFID, so Harley dealers worldwide know exactly when their new bikes will arrive. Seamlessly tracked perfectly delivered. The open road awaits. From molten metal to roaring freedom. Under showroom lights, the Harley glistens Mutrist, a perfect blend of muscle, chrome, and legacy. journey is complete. A Harley-Davidson is never just built. It's forged 